President Levinson, I have the honor to inform you that the candidates for graduation, faculty, staff, and guests of the college um, have assembled. The candidates for graduation, faculty, and guests of the college having assembled, I declare these commencement exercises to be open. Thank you. Please rise while the NCC Choir leads us in singing the national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. I take great pleasure in introducing our distinguished platform party starting from my left. Professor Robert Howard, Grand Marshal. Dr. Calvin McFadden, Dean of Students. To my right, David Jimenez. Connecticut State Colleges and Universities, Board of Regents for Higher Education. Dr. Michael Bakaris, Interim Dean of Academic Affairs. I'd also like to acknowledge this year's faculty marshal, Professor Renee Edge, as well as other members of my executive staff, Mrs. Therese Morocco, Chief Operating Officer, and Attorney Cheryl Devonish, Chief Equity Officer and Special Counsel to the President. We also have members of the Norwalk Community College Foundation Board with us this evening who have played a highly instrumental role as emissaries, fundraisers, and advisors to our college. Our students are the beneficiaries of their outstanding service. In the past year, the NCC Foundation has provided over $3 million in support for student scholarships, for over 10 staff and faculty positions, and with many initiatives that we could never have ever done if it wasn't for their support. They are pursuant of student success, like anyone can imagine and offer just great leadership through the college and community abound. We, I would like to thank Stuart Weissmiller, President of the NCC Foundation, Board of Directors, and Rogers, Executive Director of the Foundation, along with all the Board Directors and Foundation staff who have joined us today. With Stuart Ann and all Foundation Board members, please stand and please join me in expressing our appreciation. Thank you.
I am pleased to ask David Jimenez, Connecticut State College and University's Board of Regents for Higher Education, to, be greeting, to bring greetings from the board. Mr. Jimenez. Good evening. On behalf of my fellow members of the Board of Regents for Higher Education, I'm delighted to bring greetings and congratulations to each member of the class of 2018, along with our sincere gratitude to all the parents, families, friends, and others who have supported today's graduates. Today is a significant milestone in achieving your higher education goals, and the Board of Regents could not be more proud of your hard-earned success. On behalf of the entire board, we extend to you our heartfelt congratulations, along with our hopes that each of you pursue your goals with the same dedication that brought you to this wonderful day of success and celebration. Congratulations, class of 2018. Thank you, Regent Jimenez. So it's now my honor to address the graduating class of 2018. Congratulations on your accomplishments that have brought you here today. Your parents, family, friends, faculty and staff, and fellow students revel in your achievements. And you're a beautiful looking graduating class of 2018. Will you please stand and face your friends and family? Thank you. Now, feel free to sit. You would not be here today if it weren't for the faculty and staff of Norwalk Community College. I am so proud of their excellence and the nurturing that they provide to each of you. Will the faculty and staff of Norwalk Community College please stand up and please join me in acknowledging their outstanding performance. Thank you. I also want to acknowledge all the NCC staff involved in orchestrating this afternoon's commencement. We have students who are doing live streaming on our Facebook page. We have students and other volunteers who have helped distribute programs, do the seating. And I also want to single out Judy DeArmas, who took it upon herself to lead all of the details involved in planning today. Thank you all. You, the graduating class of 2018, are beautifully diverse. You originate from 41 countries and speak 26 languages. Behind me are the flags from many of your nations, which the University of Bridgeport kindly lent us today as part of our ceremony. One of the things that I hope you will learn, it's all about relationships, and the one we have with the University of Bridgeport is very important, very special. And please join me in thanking them today for the flags and the staging that they have provided. Fifteen of the class of 2018 are veterans or National Guardsmen. Will they please stand up along with anyone else in the audience that has served our country? Please join me in thanking them. Thank you for your service. The diversity in our class is further seen by one-third of you identifying as Hispanic or Latino and 15 percent black or African American. We have a set of twins who are graduating today along with eight sets of siblings. And another thing that is so unique about our graduating class is how accomplished they are. The cumulative GPA of our class is 3.09. 
You are a very high achieving group of graduates. Congratulations. We also have the distinction today of 12 students receiving their associate's degree prior to earning their high school degree, for they have been in the Norwalk Early College Academy, and they were recognized earlier today in the Norwalk Inn and Conference Center. Will our NECA students please stand? I also want to acknowledge all of the IBM officials, NECA and Norwalk Public School staff who are here with us today to witness this monumental equation. Will they please stand? We relish the relationship we have with the Norwalk Public Schools as with all the towns and cities that we serve. So important. Early this month, we had the opportunity to hear from Tracy Smith, Poet Laureate for the United States. She spoke of the importance of compassion, not just tolerance, when it comes to diversity. Graduating class of 2018, I am struck by the compassion that you have demonstrated to one another. I have seen this by visiting many of your classes witnessing the unbelievable bonds that you have forged with one another. To see the ceremonies that occurred just these past weeks in our nursing program. Nursing candidates, where are you? In our nursing program, respiratory therapy, early childhood education, and all of those who are part of Alpha Iota Nu, our Phi Theta Kappa chapter. You all have been involved admirably throughout the year and again have forged amazing relationships with one another. But it's not just tolerating differences that you exhibit and the compassion that I spoke about, but your diversity gives you something that will give you a competitive edge as you move forward in your lives. You have demonstrated to all of us the opportunity to thrive in a multicultural, globalized world, a skill which not every graduate has this year. Your compassion, coupled with your passion, will provide you with the sustenance needed as you encounter the challenges that lay ahead. So I ask you to hold on to those relationships that you have forged at Norwalk Community College, whether it be with a mentor, a fellow student, a teacher, or a staff member, for they will provide you, these relationships, with a foundation to succeed for a lifetime. Class of 2018, you have what it takes to succeed. Because besides acquiring the expertise in your chosen field of major, you have acquired skills in oral communication, critical thinking, mathematics, and English. Yes, the very things that you may not have wanted to take, but those things that you will appreciate as time goes on. We live in a world characterized, unfortunately, by seemingly unlimited acrimony. Yet you, the graduating class of 2018, are for the world the promise of harmony and mutual support. In whatever you do, please, the graduating class of 2018, spread that spirit around the world. Spread that spirit of collaboration, tenderness, and support that you have demonstrated in your years at Norwalk Community College. Please join me once again in congratulating the Norwalk Community College Class of 2018. It's now my pleasure to welcome Dr. Calvin McFadden, Dean of Students, to the podium 
who will introduce our class speakers, Dean McFadden. Thank you, President Levinson, for your inspiring message. Friends, it is now my privilege to introduce our class speakers. And in the words of Bruno Mars, they are dripping in finesse. It makes no sense. Our first speaker is Sean Ken Yat Lam. Sean arrived in the U.S. from Hong Kong three years ago. He's an active member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, a member of the Business Club, and has served as Vice President and Marketing Officer of the Career Success Club. Last summer, Sean participated in the college's Entrepreneurship Institute, receiving first place for his work after placing second in the college's annual idea pitch speech contest, which focused on his entrepreneurship proposal. Outside the college, Sean has served as marketing and sales intern for a real estate agency and also served as a marketing and supply chain manager. These experiences inspired Sean to go into business for himself and earlier this year, he co-founded his own sales and marketing company. After graduation, Sean will return to Hong Kong to expand his own business, and his plan is to pursue a bachelor's degree when he returns in the spring. Please welcome Sean to the podium. Testing, testing. Whew. Usually I enjoy public speaking, but this time I'm not gonna lie. There are way too many people in here. <laughs> oh, and I have to tell my brother something too. Kit, I don't know where you are, but please make sure you take some good pictures of me. I'm sorry people, but I'm actually only doing this speech for my Facebook profile picture. <laughs> okay, so good evening, President Levinson administrators, professors, family and friends, and of course, our fellow graduates. Congratulations for being here. We've made it, finally. Not only our friends and family should be proud of us, we should be proud of ourselves too. We have accomplished a lot. When I look back, all those exams, assignments, presentations, they've become my favorite things. I'm sure you guys feel the same too, right? Uh, no. But seriously, I am now the biggest fan of NCC. However, I might be the only student who hated NCC when I first came here. Let me tell you why. Three years ago, I was in Hong Kong. I worked really hard for my public exam, got into my dream college. Everything was going so well until my dad decided to bring the whole family to the U.S. I had spent six years of secondary school life preparing myself for the exam, got into my dream school, and he wanted me to give up the offer and move to the U.S. after all the hard work. Are you kidding me? I didn't want to come. Think about it. If I'm telling you that you'll have to move to China after this graduation, what would you think? And one biggest problem is that I knew nothing about the U.S., or maybe two. McDonald's and Captain America, but that's it. <laughs> I had such a huge fight with my dad, but you know how it goes. Parents, especially Asian parents, <laughs> I have no choice but to follow. It was really tough being here. I didn't really speak English. I have no friends to talk to. I was just so lost in my life. But who had thought that I am now the speaker of the commencement? And this is what I'm trying to say. In our lives, there are a lot of things that we cannot control. And as we never know what's going to happen, there are two things we should keep in mind. Always be positive, always be thankful. I don't regret coming to the US anymore. I don't usually have regrets. One thing I do regret a lot though, is that when I first came here, I didn't talk to my dad for weeks. We only had a few conversations because my parents barely speak English and they needed me to call the bank, the landlord, and more. It's bad because I was ungrateful. I didn't recognize how much they had sacrificed for me. 
they spent their whole life in Hong Kong, but were willing to leave just because they wanted my brother and I to have a better education. And whenever I think about it now, all I can say is that, wow, that's brave. That's really brave of them. And to be honest, I probably wouldn't do it for my kids. I'm not sure that there's a lot of work. <laughs> but anyway, I should be super grateful for what they've done for me. So please, I would appreciate it a lot if you can do me a favor. Can you please give my parents, my brother, and all of your family members a big hand? Without them, we won't be here today. So my parents brought me here. What's next? I'm glad that NCC showed up when I needed it the most. As you remember, I was so scared that I couldn't make friends because of my accent. I was afraid that I wasn't good enough for scholarships. I didn't believe in myself that I could start a business in here. However, I decided to take a leap of faith and just do it. When I stayed positive, I became an officer of multiple clubs and met a lot of great friends. When I stayed positive, I got the Good Now Scholarship and the Entrepreneurship Scholarship from the NCC Foundation and a few more from PTK. When I stayed positive, I got prizes from the Idea Pitch, the Some Entrepreneur Institute, and started my own business. I have experienced so much in the past few years at NCC. There are opportunities in here, and I'm glad that I've taken advantage of them. And I'm telling you, NCC students can go to wherever we want in life. We just have to work hard, be thankful, and be positive. Thank you for having me here during this speech. It's my honor to be representing all the great individuals in this arena. So representing the graduation class of 2018, I want to say thank you to all the administrators for running such an awesome school. Thank you to all the professors for always pushing our limits. Thank you to all the advisors, tutors, coaches, mentors for being here and giving us a helping hand whenever we needed it. Thank you to NCC Foundation, the scholarships are better than everything else combined. <laughs> Last but not least, thank you family and friends. Thank you dad for all the encouragement. Thank you mom for never giving up on me. And my brother, you are the best gift that dad and mom have given me. Okay, since Norwalk Community College is such an incredible school, guess who's attending in the fall? I am coming back. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually going back to Hong Kong tomorrow. But my brother Kit is starting his first semester in the fall. I'm sure he will be welcomed and challenged just like I was. Good luck, brother. This is it. I love you all. Congratulations again. And we're all going to do great things in our lives. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sean, for your speech. You have inspired us, and we are expecting great things from you. Our next speaker is Lillian Yanni. Lillian came to the U.S. from Ghana, West Africa, in 2007. In addition to serving as president of the Career Success Club, she's an active member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and the Accounting Society. Lillian is a single parent who, in addition to participating in extracurricular activities with her son, she works as a part-time shift supervisor at Stanford Hospital and still finds the time to volunteer at a care center in New Canaan. Get this, Lillian has been accepted to Cornell University to pursue a bachelor's degree. A bachelor's degree in applied economics and management. She has succeeded against all odds. Would you please welcome Lillian to the podium?
Thank you. Class of 2018, are we not enjoying this moment? Make some noise, 2018 class. Thank you, Dean McFadden. President, deans, honorable professors, dedicated members of staff, guests, families, friends, NCC Foundation staff, and fellow graduates. It is never too late to achieve your dreams. My name is Lillian Yanni, and I represent the many voices of the 2018 class. I am extremely honored to be given this privilege because I am the person least to be standing on this dais to give an important speech of this magnitude considering my background, which has equipped me for the practical realities of the real world. Several times, like Sean said, I had wanted to give up on my NCC journey, but I stayed the course like you all did. And now I have completed one part of my objective, which has me standing before you today to give the 56th commencement speech of NCC. Mahatma Gandhi, the great Indian social activist, once said, there is no school equal to a decent home and no teacher equal to a virtuous parent. I was born into a family of two boys and two girls in Ghana, West Africa. Ghana, as some of you may know, is the birthplace of Kinte Cloth. This is the Kinte Cloth. Thank you. But it is also a country rich in culture, languages, 110 dialects spoken, and the girl's two best friends, diamonds and chocolates. <laughs> my Ghanaian upbringing prepared me for my many wonderful US experiences. I owe so much of who I am to my parents, Albert and Charlotte, who valued education and believed that education is the key that opens doors to attain one's goals and ambitions, even when the means are sparse. As a child, I encountered many challenges, but the principles taught to me by my mom helped me build good character and integrity. She also taught me about choices, most importantly, not to choose shortcuts. In the midst of battles, nor bow out when being faced with unbelievable hurdles. I salute my mom, wherever you are, I love you so much. I salute my mom whose God-fearing principle of perseverance echoes the exact words of Gandhi. No teacher equals to a virtuous parent. 11 years ago, I immigrated from Ghana, West Africa, to join my mom and siblings in the United States. In navigating through my new life in America, it, I was confronted yet again with more obstacles. One major life-changing test was I carried my identical twins to full term and lost one at birth. My jewel, Michael, survived, but with respiratory problems. Being a single parent with a child who was born with and still has medical issues, I had to reprioritize and realign my personal life to fulfill my goals and that of my family. As my son started his education process, I then started mine. Even though I had my education career in Ghana, I wanted the US education experience to be of help to my son when he encounters problems at school. As you can all see, I am not a traditional age student, and so I needed a place that would accept me. In my research, I came across the mission statement of a prestigious college that resonated with me. It spoke about a place that encapsulates diversity and promotes individual growth and achievement no matter your color, creed, or background. The institution was no other than Norwalk Community College. <laughs> NCC is a great place to be. I have made it here today partly because of the 
generous, supportive, and kind-hearted individuals of the NCC Foundation who help dedicated, brilliant, and high-achieving students like me to actualize their NCC academic dreams. I will forever be grateful to Carly C. Conway Scholarship, Thomas Gardella Memorial Scholarship, and Grove Eli Single Parent Fund. My sincere gratitude goes to everyone who contributed to my success. You all know I am immensely grateful for all your help. And mentioning names will take the rest of the day. You are now a part of my life. To my family, I salute you. To Michael, I love you. You are my inspiration. Today marks the end of the journey I started two years ago. My, my challenge now begins as I move forward to fulfill more of my ambitions. I'm eagerly awaiting to start my new academic life at Cornell University, where I will be obtaining my bachelor's in applied economics and management, ultimately to become an executive director of a nonprofit organization. Class of 2018, it is never too late to create a haven for your life. NCC has been my haven, and I'm so proud of us all that we all created a beautiful haven together here, and we all took the risk and made the first move to achieve our academic dream. Continue being a risk taker, keep your eyes on the prize alone, and never give up. Jump over those hurdles and applaud yourself for reaching for the stars. We should remember, in the pursuit of any dream, there will always be setbacks, closed doors, and major obstacles to conquer. But we should remain committed and determined. Holding on to those two words, we can scale any mountain and overcome every battle. So let's remember to hold on to this creed. No mountain too high, no valley too deep, and no battle too strong that we cannot overcome if we commit to the journey. It is never too late to achieve your dreams. That's translated in my dialect and country. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sean and Lillian, for your inspiring words. And I think it's very clear, having heard them, why we have a wonderful tradition at NCC where we have our students as commencement speakers, because they represent the excellence of our graduating classes. And again, another hand for both Sean and Lillian. It's now my honor to present the Distinguished Service Award. Would Mr. Robert Cashel please come to the podium? Rob Cashel has been president and CEO of the Family and Children's Agency since 2005. Prior to that, Rob spent 23 years as executive vice president at the Family Center of Greenwich Stanford. FCA is a very important agency for us. It is a feeder program or provides a feeder to our real reaching excellent academic levels program. It's also an agency with whom we collaborated on what was called and what is called the Aspire Program, which is a program for children going through the Norwalk Public Schools who need some additional assistance to excel academically. And FCA offers Norwalk Community College as a referral site for human service needs for our students and provides us with an on-site mental health counselor at the college. 
Rob is chair of the Norwalk DAX Governance Committee, which is a coalition of over 100 community-based organizations that we helped co-found, and provides leadership throughout the community in so many ways to flourish and excel in terms of the life chances of all residents of Fairfield County. He holds a bachelor's degree from Syracuse University and a master's degree in social work from Fordham University. He is a licensed clinical social worker, a master's level mental health counselor, a certified marriage and family therapist, and a certified alcoholism counselor. On a personal level, Rob and I started around the same time, me 2004, 2005, and not only have we had and enjoyed a wonderful partnership, but also a very strong friendship. So it is my honor to present Rob Cashel with our Distinguished Service Award. Rob. It's now my pleasure to ask Regent David Jimenez to come forward to present the Distinguished Alumnus Award to Kaisheen Ferryman. It's my privilege uh, to present the Distinguished Alumnus Award. Uh, would Ms. Kaisheen Ferryman please come to the podium? Kasheen Ferryman is a 2012 graduate of NCC earning an associate degree in liberal arts and services. She works full time as a support services program coordinator for Norwalk's Family and Children Agency and is a realtor with Weikart Realtors in Westport. She volunteers with a number of community organizations including Inspirica and Person to Person. Ms. Ferryman is a graduate of the University of Connecticut and holds a bachelor's degree in human services. Most recently, she served as a featured speaker at the annual fundraising luncheon for the Fund for Women and Girls. I want to congratulate Ms. Ferriman. She represents the very best of our alumni, and it's a pleasure to present you uh, with this Distinguished Alumni Award. Thank you, Regent Jimenez. Norwalk Community College has established a presidential award for academic excellence in honor of students who have distinguished themselves by achieving a perfect 4.0 grade point average. And these are students who deserve our highest praise for that extraordinary accomplishment. I now will have the privilege of presenting these awards to the presidential winners. Will the presidential award winners please come to stage? Antonio Kearney, Sabel Pinharo, and Penelope Zuckerman. <laughs> Antonio Kearney who is graduating in general studies and is transferring to the University of Connecticut at Stanford, majoring in psychology and economics. And he also serves in the Connecticut Army National Guard. Mr. Kearney. Sabel Pinharo, please come forward. Sabel is majoring in accounting and will transfer to Baruch College in the city of New York. Congratulations. And last but not least, Penelope Zuckerman, majoring in veterinary technology and is now working as a veterinary technician at a local veterinarian practice. Congratulations. Please join me in applauding these exceptional students on this very special evening of their lives. Dr. McFadden. 
Thank you, President Levinson. It is my honor to ask Dina Fayette to come and join me at the podium. Dina began her avid involvement at NCC by joining the CONCAST program, where she quickly became one of the top academic students in her cohort. She shared her talents with others by tutoring other students in the program and helping them achieve their best efforts. She became one of the most helpful math tutors in the NCC Tutoring Center, and she's also volunteered in the NCC Food Pantry. Dina is graduating from NCC with a degree in liberal arts and sciences and will be transferring to the School of Pharmacy at the University of Connecticut. Dina tonight has the honor of presenting the 2018 class gift to the college. Would you please welcome Dina to the podium? Thank you. Good evening, everyone. It is my pleasure to present the class gift of 2018. I would like to begin by thanking the foundation, faculty and staff, and everyone who helped me during my successful journey at NCC. Most importantly, I would like to thank my mom and my dad who are here today. You two are my inspiration and the reason why I never give up. Dr. David Livingston, on behalf of class of 2018, it is my pleasure to present a picnic table, I'm not sure, I'm not sure where it is, oh, here it is. <laughs> a picnic table for studying, socializing, and or just relaxing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dina, for the picnic table. The NCC community will remember the class of 2018 each time they sit down for lunch and, of course, each time they study. Dina, we wish you all the very best as you continue your education at UConn. Thank you so much. We now have the privilege of hearing again from the NCC Choir. You'll never walk alone and climb every mountain. NCC Choir.
And that beautiful message conducted by Dr. Christine Maggio. Thank you so much. Thank you. I would now like to introduce our Interim Dean of Acad Academic Affairs, Dr. Michael Bukaris. Dr. Bukaris. With our awards presented and greetings concluded, I now have the pleasure of asking the question that you have all been waiting for. President Levinson, will you please present the candidates for graduation? My pleasure. Will the candidates please rise? I have the great honor and distinction to present the candidates for associate degrees and certificates. I certify that these candidates have completed all requirements for the degrees and certificates now to be conferred. The candidates may, may now be seated. You will be asked to come forward as the names of your programs are called. Dr. Michael Bukaris will announce the names of the candidates. Accounting, Christophe Baptiste. <laughs> Irina Burda, summa cum laude. <laughs> Marta de Bloc. Edison Dinat. Artisan Hernandez. Jonathan M. Kalema. Shelby Juarez. Associate in Accounting, cum laude, and Associate in Business Administration, cum laude. Jasmine Leonardo, cum laude. Jennifer Mendez, cum laude. Jessica Montoya. Sibel Pinheiro. Sumo cum laude. Kathleen Muto. Magna cum laude. Xiomara Nieves. Yuen Lang, Wang. Carolina Ortiz Cisneros. Babatunde Olaniba.
Anthony Panarisi. Isabel Ramirez, Accounting, Business Administration, and a Certificate in Accounting. Hillary Rodriguez. France Simon. Rosa Balderrama. Architectural Engineering Technology. Gino Brumini. William Valentin. Sarah Comstock, magna cum laude. Daniel Garcia. Arlen Halatai, cum laude. Elodi Managat Midor. Delmi Palencia, cum laude. Also a degree in construction technology. Helen Palomino. Jason Kudian. Kelvin Rodriguez. Julio Savrita Castro. Marie, Marie Sanchez Shaw. Daniel Vera, also a degree in construction technology. Michelle Afaro, Business Administration. Maria Mora. Rosa Arce. Jari Beltran. Kenny Clyburn. Binod Dahab. Carson Duffy. Milagritos Izaguire Izaguire Marilyn Lindau Ijomani Lizgano Munoz Norberto Lucero Ada Maldonado, magna cum laude.
Chifiwa Matoni. Stephen Marillo. Leticia Nevis. Pat Patrick Odierno. Diana Ortiz. Jamie Pugh, cum laude. David Pinto. Kim Yat Lam, summa cum laude. Joel A. Proano. Michael Robinson. Glenby Romano. Andrea Nicole Santos. Lakiva Spearman. Alvin Tobar. Christian Umana. Christopher Vina. Christelle Villavicenso. Cum laude. Uh, cum laude. <laughs> Cynthia Abreu. Certificate in English as a Second Language and Communication Arts, Associate's Degree. Gabriel Calderon, Communication Arts. Perry Hoy. Elijah McVeigh. Corey Minka. Atalaya Ortiz. Jennifer Rios. Gabrielle Snell. Er Eric Stoltenoff. Joseph Josue Vilson. Samir Anastasio, Associate Degree in Science, Computer Security. Christopher Berredit. Jordan Garden, cum laude. Johanna Arias, cum laude. Also a degree, certificate, smartphone application development. Monem Wiohawi, computer science.
Dylan Chariot. Jason Chow, cum laude. Asil Fawa. Wyatt Hamdani. Ramoy Hammond. Mahbubu Karim. Dexter Fearing. Marcellus Holman. Monique Ilagan. Also Smartphone Application Development Certificate. Paul Osorio. Dimitro Pershing. Igor? Igor Popov. Brandon Young. Jairo Mukando, Associate Degree in Science, Construction Technology. Juan Paz. Lillian Castillo, Maribel. Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Shayla Grimes. Adriana Heredia. Kaiser Herrera. Tatiana Robb. Cum Laude. Renee Jimenez. Miriam Kutalatse. Also a degree in English as a Second Language Certificate. Samuel Mendez. Daniel Newhall. Shannon O'Connor. Suheli Rivera. Shanice Gardner. Zita Souza. Yvette Troshi, cum laude. Jose Tinajero Aragon. Jonathan Valencia. Associate in Applied Science, Design for the Web, Justin Anderson. Malrek Baltrusek. Christian Pimienta. Rashada Andrade. Wendy Ayala, Associate in Science, Early Childhood Education, Mag Magnum Cum Laude, English as a Second Language Certificate, and Early Childhood Education Certificate.
Early Childhood Education, Julia Busukovich. <laughs> Evelyn Contreras. Kimberly De La Cruz. Nadia Ima, cum laude. Maria Fajardo, cum laude. Simu Alin. Debbie Jean-Baptiste. Pauline Kirby Rogers. Nitavia Langley. Vanessa Lozano. Maria Papadakos. Carrie Ann Parker, magna cum laude. Isela Reyes, magna cum laude. Shelliana Richard. Charlotte A. Richards. Summa cum laude. Johanna Romero, cum laude. Justina Zwander. Cum laude. Jeremy Auerbacher, Associate in Science, Computer Science, Cum laude, Engineering Science, Magna Cum laude, and Certificate in Relational Database. Jason Jarmillo. That's all right. Michael Katumbas, cum laude. Also, also associate degree, liberal arts and sciences, cum laude. Javier, Javier Moreno Soto. Carlos Murcia. Sarah Arribas Cockley, Exercise Science. Talita Kodognolia. Matthew Fisher, cum laude. Sophia Guzman. Tatiana Kokorska. Associate degree in general studies, Lauren Adams. Charmaine Akins. Stephanie Acasa, 
cum laude. Barovier Alabas, summa cum laude. Brandon Aprizisi. Brittany Aprus. Matthew Baker. Kevin Bendoya, Bedoya. Cecilia Byrne. Leonora Barisha. Johanna Brito, cum laude. Daryl Bokey. Anna C. Caceres. Kalu. Rajin Kalu. Kimberly Carvajal. Slavia Carvajal. Akimia Ko. Lisette Cuevas. Kimberly Davis. Kiana Del Arco. Christine Dervo. Nicolette A. Eckert. Amber Fawcett. Friends. Cynthia Ferenz. Ruby Garcia. Ashley Gittens, magna cum laude. Jason Gabinski. Marie, Marina Guimarães Quintal, magna cum laude. Anthony Grincelli. Marisha Harold. Ryan Havey. Tiba Huckabee. Mariah Jackson. Taya James, cum laude. Linka Jaquez Aviedo, cum laude. Also a certificate in English as a second language. Francesca Jare, Jara. Felicia Jelks. Richard Jeter. Aaron Karch. Antonio Kearney, summa cum laude. Ryan Kearns, cum laude. Nicole Ledestro. Brianna, right? 
Brianna Long. Itza Lucero. Megan Lucy, summa cum laude. Miriam Molin. Claudia Marine. Imana Masis. Ashley Martino. Fallon McShaw. Essence McVeigh, cum laude. Myra Montalban. Gianna. Gianna Montanero, cum laude. Jasmine Montenegro Nahara, cum laude. Olga Morales. Genesis Mascara. Brian Moya. Joanna Nardone. Kathleen Naguyan. Christine Naguyan. Jessica Nino. Melanie R. Numa. Cum laude. Anthony Orihana. Robert Peoples. Diolani Perez, also a degree in English as a Second Language Certificate. Christian Padilla. Emmeline Petway. Summa Cum Laude. Samantha Pleasance. Shakoya Pratt. Stephanie Ramada. Trevor Remy. Sherry Richardson. Cassandra Robinson. Brian Rosas. Stephen Ross. Shania Simon. Shania Simon, magna cum laude. Aisha Stroud. Aaron Snamonic. Christian T. Tarzia. Mariana Trevino. Melissa Valdez. Laura Vasquez. Alexandra Vasquez. Sergio Velasquez, cum laude. 
Onyx Velez. Vanessa Vitali. Cameo Weir. Candace D. Wright, magna cum laude. Irina Zabalatna. Janet Zub, cum laude. Patrick Spencer Bernardino, graphic design. Associate in Science, graphic design. Amaris Diaz. Nicole Ilagun. Rashonda L. Lee. Adam Nichio. Palacios. Carlos Palacios, cum laude. Van Jason Palayo. Francis Sarah, cum laude. James Webster. LaVicta Dixon, Hospitality Management and Restaurant Food Service Management. Victoria Ajay Chum. Cum laude. Brianna Jelks. Wendy Velez Fardo. Fabia. Fabia Amaral. Cum laude. Human Services. Associate in Science, Human Services, Audrey Camino Jara, magna cum laude. Claudia Floria. Kelly Idariga. Stacy Mack. Rosaline, Rosaline Marseille, and also an associate degree in general studies. <laughs> Stephanie Oliva. <laughs> Diane Quintana. Associate in Degree in Interior Design, Amanda Beretta de la Vera. <laughs> Emily Canavan, cum laude. Lydia Gotch, cum laude. Kalish? Summer Kalish. Cum laude, legal assistant. Associate in science, legal assistant. Adrian Detola, magna cum laude. Kayla A. Fry.
Jessica Pinto, summa cum laude. Sana Akbar. Sana Akbar, magna cum laude. Maria Andachi, cum laude, liberal arts and sciences. Associate in arts, liberal arts and sciences. Caitlin Barber, cum laude. Jacoya Brown. Jairo Bliles. Joel Calderon, magna cum laude. Franny Campos. Louise Pateau. Nadia Coro Salazar. Brian Edwards. Kendra Espinosa. Scott Fraser. Tyler Frederick, cum laude. David Freeman, magna cum laude. Ajanique Fullard. Dina Fayad. Dina Fayad, cum laude. Charlotte Gage. Christine Garcia. Jessica Garcia Osorio. Gabriela Giovanetti. Shaanya Glover, cum laude. Allison Guamantaki, cum laude. Tatiana Guzman. Declan Hanrahan. Sean Hanrahan. Magna cum laude. Aphrodite Herolabitis, magna cum laude. Amir Hines. Patrick Jones. Silvana Lopez. Shania, Shania Lee. Michael McLeod, magna cum laude. Colin Milano, magna cum laude. Anna Mercia, also a degree in English as a second language, cum laude. Ariane Marcella Marcelino da Silva. Ruhi Patel. Ruhi Patel, cum laude. Okay, here you keep that. Shivani Patel. Nardia Price. Nicole Ramos. Ira Rhoda. Ira Rhoda. 
Victor A. Rodriguez, magna cum laude. Daniel Sanchez. Kendall Sturgis Bronstein, cum laude. Karen Vacareza, cum laude. Amanda Vega. Randall Viquez Lozano, magna cum laude. Associate in Science in Management, Maria Alvarez. Khalid Belabid, cum laude. Amanda D'Onofrio, cum laude. Lee Ferreira, cum laude. Matthew Gilbert. Mary Catherine Gravel. Lisa Jordan. Noah Bagnan. Kristen Shields. Eric Valverde. Ariel Anderson, Medical Office Management, cum laude. Associate in Science, Medical Office Management, Milton Andre, cum laude. Cindy B. Charles, cum laude. Nastasia Hall. Lanasia Jones. Diana Lugagina. Also a certificate in medical assistant. Isabel Moskosko, also a certificate in medical assistant. Monica Pudia, cum laude, also a certificate in medical office specialist. Lillian Prada. Jewel Prince, also a certificate in medical assistant. Tanya Stewart, also a medical assistant certificate. Paula Stocklasa, also a degree in general studies and a certificate in English as a second language. Lillian Yanni, cum laude. Associate in Science in Nursing, Xiomara Angel. Ariana Arden. Angelica Arenas. Marie France Bernadelle. Raquel Blake. Patarapon Bunyaratapan.
Lindsay Basquet. Roberto Carvajal. Angelo Cesar. Xin Young Choi, also an associate degree in general studies. Dory Floristal. Kyle Frazier. Deborah Gray. De Deborah Gay. Alyssa Gray. Nairobi Hernandez. Alexis Koch, cum laude. Constantina Corpunides. Bal Lamichane. Gabrielle Lefebvre. Vandy Lufon. Okay. Erica Magnano. Cum laude. Lauren McKeon. Selena Delgado. Morello. Giselle Morello. Robin Oriano De Leon. Lena Orozco. Floriana Paloca. Dina Parent. Taylor Perna. James Peeler. Anna Peterson. Isabel Ribeiro Del Costa. Sharice Rivera. Millie Ruiz. Shelby Simpson. Andrea Stevenson. Swick. Megan Swick. Ingrid Tay. Druva Thaker. Sarin Vahora. Sarin Vahora. Julie Vargas. Associate in Science, Physical Therapist Assistant, Jackie Bouwer. Michael Carney. Smilene Charleston. James D'Andresi. Courtney Hearn. 
Ivan. Dylan Ivan. Patricia Keen, cum laude. David Kell. Dustin Koikas. Siobhan Morin. Siobhan Morin. Siobhan Morin. <laughs> Taylor Pagnum. <laughs> Robin Panterrier. <laughs> William Pisani. Associate in Science, Respiratory Care. Oh. Shauna Chinmordley. Melissa Dabara, cum laude. Zaniel Hazelwood, cum laude. Suji Im, magna cum laude. Layla, Layla Jules. <laughs> Marinich. Jenny Marinich. <laughs> Dean Patterson. Marissa Ramsey. Carolina Rodriguez. Elam Rodriguez. Nathaniel Rodriguez. Joina Santos Sameros. Here you go. Catherine Velez. <laughs> Carlos Walker. <laughs> Associate in Science, Restaurant Food Service Management. Luis Man Charles. Nathaniel Roman. Also a certificate in culinary arts. Aaron Imerich, software engineering. Associate in Applied Science, Software Engineering, Tanya Bynum. Kevin Kao. Catrell Clay. Robert Goomer. Gizmar Horch. Matthias Karlahag. Amelia Navarro. Amelia Navarro, cum laude. Mario Ramirez. Stelly. Ryan Stelly, summa cum laude. Afreen. Afreen, Afreen Vahora, cum laude. Asim Vora. Michael, oh, excuse me. Vet Associate in Science, Veterinary Technology. Michael Battles, cum laude. Elise Barant. Elise Barant. 
Andrew Duart. Tice Falco Falcao Erica Hayden Diana Mejia Kayla Patricelli Amanda Rivera. Penelope Zuckerman. Summa cum laude. Certificate in Accounting. Marta Pozarlik. Certificate Culinary Arts, Lisa Pirelli Gray. Melanie Pugney. Trisha Tucinardi. Certificate Digital Journalism. Andrew Shikovsky. Certificate in Early Childhood Education, Sarah Velez. Certificate English as a Second Language, Angela Arango Carvajal. Mile Gatchelin. Angela Marulanda. Heidi Pagan. Babisa Mendez. Suchismita Pachacharch. And that's a certificate in graphic design. Certificate legal assistant, Anna Lazant. Craig Martis. Susan McCaffrey. Kevon Moraney. Amy White. Certificate Medical Assistant, Laura Barbero. Nancy Castro. Roella Foster. Christina Fracassini. Karen Gomez. Danisha Latori. Oricia Nazarovic. Jan Nandagopal. Tamina Noor. Kelchum Timsman. Erica Estrada. Okay. 
Deborah Lamata. Certificate Relational Database, Daniel Olivas. Also a certificate in networking. Will the candidates for a degree or certificate please rise? By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of Higher Education, I hereby confer upon you the associate degree and certificate with all of the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. As a symbol of your newly awarded graduate status, will you please move your tassel from the right to the left side of your immortal board? Congratulations, class of 2018. You make us NCC proud. As the platform party, the faculty and dignitaries and all graduates leave, families and guests are requested to remain at your seat out of respect until the entire academic procession and the entire class of 2018 has exited. This evening, we would like to cordially invite all students, guests, faculty, and staff to join us at a celebration reception sponsored by the President's Office and the Norwalk Community College Foundation to be held outside the arena corridor behind section 115. The reception will follow our recessional. It is a tradition of the college to have the graduates pass through a double row of faculty and staff as all give their farewell salute to the graduates. The recession line will follow the Grand Marshal. The Grand Marshal and platform party will lead and faculty and staff will follow followed by the graduating class and guests. Again, please remain at your seats to honor the academic recession. And once again, congratulations, class of 2018.